Hey everyone, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. I'm still getting my voice back. Um, I've been still needing to work, you know, too, to get messages out and, you know, so bear with me. I'm still working on my voice. Um, but I was called to do this reading. Um, I'm not even going to lie, I wasn't going to upload some videos until later, some readings. Um, but I'm feeling like I need to get this out for all my divine feminine out there. You could be a male or a female in this energy, okay? This is the energy of yin, okay? Empress energy, all right? Uh, for the evolved, right? Um, now, what I'm going to touch on in this reading and somebody could have cut their finger just like the fuck I did, okay? Um, last, yesterday was Thanksgiving when uh, when I'm recording this. It's the day after Thanksgiving. And um, it is a timeless read, but I just want to throw that out there, okay? And I cut my shit on the dumbest of ways, too, on some aluminum foil. I'm like, damn, I really need to slow my ass down, right? Anyway, Divine Fam, what I'm about to talk about is your emotions. Like, I feel like you've been being sad, okay? And I'm going to touch on that. I'm going to touch on your energy first. The message that you need to get. The energy, the... The lesson that you need to gain. That's what it is. The lesson that you need to gain within this situation. First and foremost. And then we'll throw some tears on it. We'll delve into the situation. We'll clarify it. And then we'll move forward. We'll get that energy moving forward. Right? So this one is for you, Divine Fam. Okay? I want to thank you for all of the love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. All of the likes to this channel. Everyone that has booked a personal reading with me. Bought my Oracle cards. Bought merch. It is greatly appreciated. Remember that this could play out. Time... Okay, time frame, this could play out past, present, or future, all right? Take it if it's your story, leave it if it isn't, all right? Check my playlist for additional reads. Divine fam, what pops out immediately is confidence. It comes with time and practice. I feel like you need to build your confidence, and you currently are doing so. You're embarking on a new journey, divine fam, and it's scary, a lot of you could be moving, okay? There is this escapist energy. It is a number five. It's like you fleeing. A lot of you, I'm getting the energy of you running away from a situation. But a lot of you, it could be maybe you were staying with someone and maybe you were in a karmic relationship, all right? And you need to come home to yourself. You're moving and you need to have confidence to make this move, okay? Someone has been taken from your energy a lot. Um, I'm feeling depletion. I'm feeling that you need to give yourself self-love, okay? Paint the sun back into your sky, right? It's a number 11. They want me to sit this in the middle because it's like this is the main focus. You could be a Leo, okay? I'm getting like, like um, on a Wizard of Oz, you know? That's like you all's channel movie for today. But like the Wizard of Oz, when the lion lost their fucking confidence. Do lions exude confidence and royalty? Yes, they do. But to see them not confident, to see them... I'm going to use this word very loosely. Weakness. It is a sad sight to see. And I feel like all of the heavens is crying for you, Divine Fam. I feel like your ancestors are looking down and they are bewildered. That's what I'm hearing. Um, they want more for you in this lifetime and in the next. And it's like Divine Film, I'm going to be quite frank with you. You need to wake the fuck up. You need to remember who you are. Take control of your own narrative, Divine Femme. Take a chance on them, right? And focus on the here and now. I feel like there is energy of you wanting to take a chance on someone. 
on another situation, but you lack confidence. And quite frankly, you lack being alone for a while. And you could be the type of feminine that always, like I have Libra on my chart, um, rising and my moon sign is Libra. And it's like, fuck, I always want to be in a relationship. I love love. I'm a Leo son. So it's just like, I just exude love. I want love, you know, from others. But the thing about it is, is you lose control when you give that energy away. You feel like someone else has to replace it. The fact that you've given it away. But you need to always give it to yourself, Divine Femme. Love, affection, self-love. Because that is the true way that you will be free and be able to take control. If you always look for others to give to you love and completion and confidence and needing someone there to pat you on the back and tell you that you can do it. They're going to always have you by these strings. I feel like your lesson here is to not doubt your worth. Know that you are always enough, divine fam. There's a lot of twos here, okay? Know that justice is coming and endings are inevitable. I feel like you need to just go a little bit longer. I feel like you're going to receive the justice that you so rightfully deserve. But I feel like the work that is needed to be done is within you, Divine Fam, within your soul, within your heart chakra. Because you can cover it up from your friends, family, this emptiness, right? But you can't cover it up from the Divine. You can't cover it up from your soul that is from and of the Divine, right? So let's throw some tarot on it. What's going on, Divine Fem? There is something that has taken a long time to come in, right? But yet it's coming, right? Person, place, or thing. And I'm even getting like, for those of you that, you know, heavy on the love, right? There is a form of stability coming in that has taken a very long fucking time. And I'm not going to lie, Divine Femme, I see lessons to be learned. I see lessons that have been learned. But I see you going into seclusion. Okay? You could be leaving a Virgo towards Capricorn. There is some clarity that you are receiving when you do so. Okay? Maybe it took you a long time to move forward into this energy. Nonetheless, it's here. It may look to you when it is revealed to you, Divine Femme, your opportunity, your next move, right? What is for you, a blessing from the universe, from the divine, right? To you, it may look eh, not appealing, not enough, but looks can be deceiving, can't they? You need to free yourself up and welcome in this abundance. Now is not the time to be in a relationship, Divine Femme. I'm seeing that your abundance comes from your transformation. It's like freeing up of your own energy, realizing who the fuck you are. Like endings are inevitable. But, right, when Jesus said that it would be better to teach you how to fish, right? Because you could run out of fucking fish. This is a divine fam who is taking in something. Something that most people overlook. And that's why it is such a gift to you, divine fam. Because I feel like people overlook you. I feel like people don't see your full potential. And there has been a loneliness a little seed of loneliness planted deep within your soul that's wrapped around judgment. Free yourself, divine fam. Free yourself from this indecision. Because this is you, nine of wands. 
the warrior, the one that has fought the fucking battle, right? What do we see here? This person has fought the battle. All of the wands are there and they have the ninth fucking wand in their hand. This is someone that has ushered in a new fucking beginning for themselves. And yes, I have to use that word. I feel like you've been through so much, Divine Fam. But you were built to last. You were born to win. And this is you thanking the Divine for this new beginning. You fought for it. Yes, the fuck you did. And you come out victorious. You know, it's like, what was the athlete, the female athlete? And you don't have to be a male or a female in this feminine energy. But what was the female athlete? And, and she ran. And when she fucking won, she ran up to her family and she hugged them and she cried. That's you. Eight of Wands is this shit coming in quick as fuck for you. You realize this. As soon as you come into this energy, out of indecision. Here's the indecision, ma'am. That don't fucking matter. Because it comes in quick, this new beginning. And where are you at holding on to that bitch? You holding on so tight because... You've been let down a lot. You've been faced with things that just aren't the fuck enough. Don't settle no more, Divine Film. Stop settling. Stop being afraid. It's okay to pull back and protect your energy. Perfectly fucking fine. But temper it out. Temper it out so that your heart isn't closed. Temper this out so that you know that the heavens and then the divine will always rain blessings down on you. That you are deserving of this. And in fact, this is your birthright. Your birthright. So work on it. Okay? It's like it's in your bloodline. Right? Ace of Pentacles. Four, five of Pentacles. You feeling like you out in the cold. You can't do it because of betrayal after fucking betrayal. That's what I'm saying. Stop putting your faith in man. Right? Isn't that in the Bible? I mean, you don't have to read the Bible. But truth is fucking truth. Right? I just saw manifestation in the um, pre-shuffle with these cards. And that is the magician card. You are fully capable of achieving and having everything that you want in your life, Divine Fam. All right? Let's get some clarity here on this tarot. See? This you and that full energy trusting in the fucking universe. Trusting in the divine and not man and not human. Right? Took you a long time to get there. But nonetheless, I see you getting there. Right? To clarify the Hermit and the Ace of Swords, balance, Libra energy, temperance. You go in and you balance this fucking energy out. Right? A lot of major arcana here. This is like a different type of tarot deck, so to speak. And these two are major arcanas. Two major fucking lessons you learn, Divine Femme. I get that you're a person that says fuck a lot, right? Some of you do. They say the people that curse the most have the biggest hearts. I'm getting that you got a big ass heart, Divine Femme. Okay, you can't hide from me, I see you. But this is showing me that as you anticipate what is to come, reach out and use the help that is there for you. You got ancestors there that have passed before you 
and they have never left your side. Speak to them in your moments of quietness. It's not just your intuition. You know, love, to me, I believe that even if someone passes on and their body isn't here, do you think that that love would just disappear? Do you think that that soul wouldn't be for you, be there for you, wait for you? It is said that when people die, they go to the crossroads. Their ancestors and their loved ones are there greeting them, welcoming them in into the next life, into the afterlife. Know that beyond this world, beyond earth, there's beauty, there's love. And that is what is truth. Love. Know that you were bathed and you were cloaked in this at your birth, divine film. Love. So will you ever be forsaken? No. You'll never truly be alone. None of us can ever truly be alone. Because the divine is always with us in one form or another. Know that because that is truth. And when you do this, Divine Film, there is a coming together of two aspects of yourself. Maybe the yin and the yang, okay? The marrying of the mind, the two hemispheres of the brain. And you marrying these two together and you having the fucking insight of a beast of the divine, of God's consciousness. That's what happens when you marry the two sides, the yin and the yang, the left and the right hemisphere of the brain. You tap into the mind of the divine. Those to see will see and those to hear will hear, right? But this tells me, divine fam, a mighty thing that stands in your way is to go with the flow. And when you choose to do so, coming together will take place. It takes place through trust, balance, and reaching out and using the resources that is for you. And most of all, listening. That's that high priestess energy, right? And then what fucking happens? Dreams coming true. The universe literally raining down the blessings upon you, divine fam. Don't take anything less. Moving forward when Divine Femmes steps into power. Picks up the little pieces. That's the song. Pieces of me. Right? Look, Google it. I forget who sings that. Uh, pieces of me. It's a throwback ass song too. It could be Ashley Simpson. Look that up. That's y'all channel song. Moving forward. What can we expect? The Emperor. This could be your masculine coming in for you, right? The universe sending your masculine. Or it could be you stepping into action-orientedness and trusting the universe, right? Having healthy boundaries, not listening to shit, but what the universe and what the divine is bestowing upon you. Balancing out this type of energy, right? There is an energy of you being obsessed over when the fuck shit is going to get better. It's going to get better after you get these damn ten swords out your back. After you step into your power, divine fam. Mm, King of Wands. And that warrior-like energy. You could have another energy reaching out to you. You really could. You could take this two ways. Mugs coming towards you that was defensive towards you. Now that you've balanced your shit out, right? Everybody gonna come flocking because they love that energy off of you, divine fam. You stepping into this warrior energy. 
It's like stepping into the fucking boss level, right? Because as you step up, so does your competition. So does the fucking lesson. But it's saying follow your intuition. Listen, divine fear. Because you'll never be steered wrong. You're the wounded warrior. You're the last man standing or the last woman standing every time. Because you were born to be strong. You were born to win, Divine Fam. It comes in quick, right? Your blessings, they come in quick. As you embody the Empress energy. This is you, Divine Fam. And don't ever fucking forget it. You already know this. Now it's time to usher it the fuck in. Ain't no more games. Ain't no more playing around. Take life by the balls, divine fam. And get everything you fucking deserve out of it. You. Because that's what you were born for. I want to say I love you so much. And I believe in you. If this message resonates with you, smash that fucking like button. Okay? You want to see more in-depth reads like this one? Smash that like button. I do this for you. You know that, right? Until then, peace and love.